And beam me up, Scotty Elaine Lipworth is back with our celebrity guest, William Shatner, better known as Captain Kirk of Star Trek. He's talking about family, faith and luck. Hearts with you. Now, back to this week's celebrity guest. He's known across continents as the fearless, morally upstanding, intergalactic <coughs> good guy, Captain James Kirk from Star Trek. The real-life William Shatner has married three times, suffered family bereavement and known the joy of fatherhood and current domestic happiness. He talks to Elaine Lipworth about how his philosophy of life has evolved. I'm back with Bill Shatner. Bill, in your personal life you've had two difficult divorces, you've been through a lot of emotional upheaval. How do you deal with that? You just inure yourself to it. I don't read I don't look at magazines, that, you know, entertainment magazines and gossip and stuff like that. I just stay away from it. Usually it's a total lie. Sometimes there's a little kernel of, of truth that has nothing to do with what they've written about. But, uh, but if they've been cruel and, and usually it's untrue, it's terrible for the person they're writing about. Having three, ch three daughters. Mm -hmm. It, it must have been difficult for them as well, because they don't choose to have a dad who's famous. Obviously, they get the benefits of that as well. Right. Yes, yes. Here's the problem with money. The person who earns the money has had to do it with emphasis and, and a singularity of vision and, and drive and ambition and hustle and work and... and and all the things that some individuals are capable of. And now I give you some money, you, my loved one. I have just robbed you of the critical elements to make your own life. I mean, when you started off in show business, is it true that your father didn't even want you to have anything to do with it? Well, that's true. I, I, my father helped me as best he could, but he was, he was very, you know, Money was very tight, and he couldn't help me very much. So I had to do it entirely on my own, um, but no more or less than most people. But being an actor, you either become successful at some point or you're not. Uh, very few people make a living at it. If you've been able to make, if one has been able to make a living as a performer, as I have all my life, how incredibly fortunate is that? So do you see it as luck, as for good fortune? Yes. So oh. partly. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Apart from the talents. Oh, well, are you kidding? I made a left. I was on my motorcycle uh, last the other night, two nights ago, and I was getting impatient. Traffic was trying to make a left hand turn. I scooted ahead, and a car just came out of nowhere, and missed me not by very much. I thought, hey, a split second, a split second earlier, and uh, I'd have been a statistic. It's all luck. It's all fortune. It's all whether the planet collided with something or not. But, but I mean, presumably, looking at uh, one of the more serious events, actually a tragedy in your own life that, you know, we wouldn't even know about if you weren't a celebrity. Your wife was found dead in the swimming pool. How do you go through suffering like that? Is it the same as for everybody else? Or is it much more difficult and traumatic, do you think, because you've got reporters at you and people knowing? the ins and outs. Uh, tragedy is one person's tragedy. Everybody else, it's an event. And do you recover from that or carry on, just carry on living with that what in your I've life? What I've discovered is that grief, here's what I've discovered in grief, that we all grieve from the moment we're born. We, the baby grieves leaving the mother's stomach. The baby grieves leaving the mother's breast. The baby grieves going to school and losing uh, the mother's arms. The boyfriend grieves over the loss of the girlfriend, the loss of a baby, the loss of, of a husband or wife. Do you think then that you've chosen to find ways of comforting and healing that perhaps speed up the process or make it easier to I live? Don't think, I don't think you can speed up the process of grief. I think grief takes its time, but what you need to do, it seems to me, what I tried to do, was leave yourself open for love. That's all you can do. I see, I think this thing of love is the magic part. Love is what makes 
the cold universe warm. It's interesting that although we're only here for kind of that and then we're gone, that you will be remembered. How would you like to be remembered? Is it as William Shatner, you know, the father, the um, philanthropist, no, the, the, the I, cult hero, no, the actor? No, no, no. I've thought about that. Um, the truth of the matter is I have tried to, to emit love, a fountain, and I've tried to touch those lives I have with that love, and that's how I'll be remembered. Bill Shetler, thank you so much. It's been fantastic meeting you. Thank you. I thought he was really interesting. Yeah, and he's really well. interesting. Captain Kirk. Given well, you would, telly. wouldn't you? Living on a ranch with horses yeah, and dogs Kentucky. out in the countryside. Oh, he's enjoying his life. Yeah, why not?